Moins and friends. So today is gonna be a big guy day. This beautiful piece of canvas is 36 by 48 inches and I will spin it on my spinner and on my table. This actually is the middle piece of a giant triptych. The tough thing for me with a big canvas is how much pillow paint am I gonna need? So the thing about the pillow paint is what I've told you several times before. The more you put on, the more you're able to stretch out your composition. So if you just have a thin layer, the reach of the stretch is limited. It's always limited, but the more paint you put on, the more you can stretch. Kind of makes sense, right? So I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need, so I'm, I'm just putting some in the middle and I will add more later. Since I'm going to have a lot of negative space, it will be fairly easy to adjust. So it will be a swiped painting. It will be in very neutral tones. I picked ochre, sandy, stony, rocky, neutral tones, along with white and black. The colors I will swipe with a black cell activator on top of my palette knife, followed by my colors. Deep gold by golden, brass by golden, and interference gold by golden. And in addition, I will use boom gel in black because it's so super stretchy and I want stretch out cells. So that's probably all you need to know. In the beginning there will be swiping and the last part I will speed up because it's the compositioning. The compositioning is the most important part to me because you can fix a lot of stuff. In this one I told you it's gonna be a triptych and this is the second part. So I measured the first of the triptychs to see where my swipe ended. So it will start on the second piece approximately, approximately on the same spot. You will see that I will be playing with the pillow a lot. I push it back, I move it to places where there's not enough. I do all that not only to save my paint, but also to be in charge of the composition. I push my swipe back, so I'll have the chance to cover the piece with paint without having the composition to anchor down. So every time your composition, meaning the paints on top of your pillow paint, touch the corner or touch a place where there's not a lot of pillow paint, it will not move far away from there. So since I have to play around a little bit. I have to have my swipe start on a certain spot of the canvas. So the triptych in the end will become just one movement. And that's a little bit tricky and that is why I use the pillow paint to help me. Um, yeah, I will show you the complete triptych in the end and I hope you enjoy or learn something if you're interested in spinning big pieces check out my spinner the link is in the description 
I do offer a heavy duty one, but I'm actually working on the convertible spinner. So yeah, enjoy, and I hope you tune in again. Until then, be good. Bye-bye.